On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what uh, go on? A blessed and wonderful Saturday morning to each and every person out there tuning in to On The Spot News Media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So, on the morning, my peeps, I have a few stories to share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So, please, like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in Jamaica. So, watch this now, my peeps, uh, to the name uh, Saturday, the day when uh, some of the regular ones and ones them out there traverse the church. And I'm pretty sure even though Jamaica is undergoing some inclement weather conditions right now, I'm pretty sure persons are still traversing out there to church. So whilst doing so, please remember on the Spot News Media, it's loyal viewers and subscribers in your immediate prayers. You definitely see how Jamaica run right and also you know for sure. So we need that to know more than ever. And to all of the regular ones and ones them out there traversing the streets, going about your regular business from Moran Point to the grill point safe travel pan the gravel take it easy in the rain but whilst doing so please look out on the corner yai kazwa the old dirty corner boy them always out there alerts yeah man may i tell you and even though jamaica has been undergoing some severe weather conditions the knockings and clappings continues now we are going to kick it off over there in the parish of Manchester that recorded two separate knockings and clappings that has resulted in the last life of two male Jamaicans. Now the first one that we are going to talk about is of a 63-year-old senior citizen. The 63-year-old man succumbed to some serious can up can up injuries whilst undergoing treatment in the hospital after he and his family were attacked and robbed by criminal elements in Maidstone in Northwest Manchester on Friday. So relatives named the deceased man presently on your screen as Duncan Keith Watson, a resident of Maidstone. It is said that Duncan Watson, the husband of a Moravian minister, was reportedly at home, this is the home present on your screen, about 1 a.m. when he was reportedly attacked. It is said that Duncan Watson heard strange sounds coming from his home and he went to investigate. And that is when he realized that some persons was trying to break inside of his home. It is reported that he reportedly struggled to keep his attackers out by holding onto a door in an effort to protect his family from the invaders during which he was conned up several times all over the upper body and head. It is said that the gunmen reportedly stole phones and other belongings from the family. A close source also stated that the criminal elements reportedly assisted in putting the injured man in a car to be taken to the hospital. Now my peeps, how no feel about that something? Them can him up, you know? Then them turn around for help for put him into a motor vehicle. Now, as it relates to the member of parliament for Manchester Northwestern, Michael Phillips, he expressed his grave concern about the incident as he pointed to recent knockings and clappings in his constituents. He's calling on the police high command to bolster the manpower and resource in the Manchester Police Division. And still in the parish of Manchester, another brutal slaying of another Jamaican male. A man who has been contributing positively to his community over the years. Another man who I would consider not to necessarily be a senior citizen, 
but close enough as he's an elder for most of us. He has since been identified as this man presently on your screen, 52 years old, Cleon Hines, but affectionately known as Billy by Spears. Now, the police in Manchester is probing the knockings and clappings that resulted in the lesser life of this man, Cleon Hines, said to be a taxi operator whose body was found slumped in a vehicle in the community of Knockpatrick in the parish of Manchester Friday morning. Now, preliminary reports suggest that in the wee hours, a passerby saw the vehicle parked on the main road. This is the vehicle presently on your screen along the Knockpatrick main road in Manchester. It is said that the passerby saw the vehicle parked on the main road as I stated earlier and saw the man's body slumped inside the vehicle. The police was alerted and the scene cordoned off in the vicinity of Tower Street. It is said that it caused a built up of traffic that was diverted through Newport and other routes. The taxi operator's mother said that she became worried when he did not return home on Friday night. She stated, and I quote, he did not come home last night. I called his phones two times. He did not pick up. I called him again and no answer. Everyone kept calling but not getting him, end quote. Really sad situation right here for the bereaved families of both deceased men. So we just want to extend our condolences to the bereaved families of the men who lost their lives in Manchester. It is really becoming a worrying concern as Manchester was dubbed one of the better parishes in Jamaica back in the days. It was one of the most coveted parishes, especially for returning residents who enjoyed the cool, lush, green hills of Manchester for the peace and serenity that it brought. But now the parish of Manchester, likewise its neighboring parishes of St. Elizabeth and Clarendon, has been engulfed with criminal elements who are hell-bent in raking havoc in the lives of the regular members of Chan Public. But the onus is on us to do what we must to rid our communities of these criminals and stop turning a blind eye when we see our neighbors fall. Because I've always stated this, do not turn a blind eye, be your brother's keeper. Because one day it just may come knocking on your door. And I'm pretty sure you would definitely want the assistance of anyone who have any information surrounding what had taken place to you or your loved one. So each one, help one, be your brother's keepers. Yeah, man. And now in the parish of Kingston, over there in the Kingston Central Police Division. Last night in the rain, knockings and clappings rang out. Poor may I tell you, the man them deal with the situation a certain type of way. Now the bodies of these two men presently on your screen, presently unidentified also by their names, was found along the Wildman Street area in Central Kingston. Their bodies was riddled with Khan, boy, may I tell you. We don't know for sure the personality of these men, if they were indeed involved in criminal activities or they were just a casualty of war. But of course, you know that on the spot news media will most definitely do some digging and get back to you as it relates to that double knockings and clappings over there in Wildman Street, Central Kingston in subsequent newscast. So as it relates to the weather conditions that has been affecting Jamaica, right across the length and breadth from Moran Point to Negril Point, I'll be doing a separate vlog video that will definitely give you full video coverage of all the happenings all over Jamaica. 
so you can sit back and watch and see for yourself what that tropical depression or tropical storm did to our country. Poor I may tell you, it is going to definitely be a hefty, hefty bill on the government to repair some of these serious damages. Yeah, man. But anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscasts. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.